Hello guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th generation, iPod Touch 3rd generation, and iPad 1 on version 4.3.2, preserving your baseband using Snowbreeze. So Snowbreeze came out a few days ago. We didn't make a video because it's not that important since Red Snow works on both Mac and PC and it works very nicely. However, this is the alternative. You might want to use it if one, red snow doesn't work, or two, you really need to preserve your baseband. And what you're going to need to start this video is Snowbreeze and then the firmware for your device on 4.3.2. Go to the link in the description that will lead you to this post. Now all you have to do is click Snowbreeze, download Snowbreeze, and then click the version of your device. So we'll be using iPod Touch fourth generation just click right here and it will download the ver the respective firmware now that you're done with that I'm just gonna open up my folder and you'll have two things in uh, on your computer your firmware and your and snowbreeze version uh, 2.6 so we're gonna open up snowbreeze and you can feel free to connect your device now and get ready to jailbreak so First, you're just going to click OK and this arrow. Now, it's going to ask you to drag the IPSW to here or browse. What you're going to do is just get the file that's respective to your device, drag it right in there, and it will start identifying the file. Now, it knows that it's an iPod Touch 4, so just hit the continue button. And for this step, you're going to want to hit expert mode. Now click on general and this arrow here and I'll show you some cool things. You can get um, multitasking gestures if you leave this thing checked. You get battery percentage if you leave this checked. You can install SSH which um, is always nice. That's what I'm going to do. And you can enable animated boot logos which is also nice also if this thing right here that says activate the iPhone hacktivate is checked and you use your iPhone without an unlock you just use it normal with AT&T or, or this video doesn't work with Verizon but if you just use it with AT&T and you have no relation with unlocking and using with a separate service like T-Mobile or something then leave this unchecked. You do not want to check this unless you are intending to unlock or you might lose your service and have to restore your phone but everything will be okay. Anyways, what you're going to do next is hit this arrow right here and hit it again if you don't want any customs. Now what we're going to do is hit build IPSW and the arrow. Now this is a step that takes a while. It's going to be building a file to restore for and this can take up to like a half an hour on a really slow computer. So just wait it out and we'll be back as soon as that is done. Once Snowbreeze finishes making this, what you're going to have to do is hit OK. Now plug in, make sure your device is plugged in. And also I want to caution you that this will uh, restore to a new firmware which means you won't have all your device all your apps and stuff so make sure to sync and back up before you do this so we're going to be turning the iPod touch off as recommended and then going into DFU mode so I'll be showing you how to do that right now right now so you're going to hit start and it says prepare to press the buttons so I'm going to hold both buttons top and home button let go of the top button and once iTunes comes up make sure you have iTunes 10.2.2 or higher that may be the problem if iTunes doesn't come up or if you're trying to restore now you're going to hit OK. Hold the shift button on your keyboard while pressing restore. We'll get you to this page. Now you're going to not use the firmware that was uh, that you had before, but find the one that starts with Snowbreeze and then your device. And then you're just going to hit open and restore. 
Now, when it's restoring, when it's done, you'll be jailbroken on 4.3.2, and you'll have multitasking gestures if you enable that, and you can sync with your computer, and you'll be done. So I'll be showing you my device once it's restored in about 10 minutes. Okay, the process is done for us. Now, when you turn on your device, you'll notice a new app called Cydia. It may be hidden a little bit, but if it loads up and says this or anything, then it's obviously worked, and you've jailbroken your device. If you have any questions or problems, leave them down below. If this video worked for you, you can thank us by leaving a thumbs up over there. And subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys later.